Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another, yes, another Primark video. Um, I went to Primark at the weekend, the 2nd and the 3rd of October um, in Glasgow. I went to the ones that I usually go to, the one on Socky Hall Street and the one on Argyll Street. Now, I'm sure there is three. I think the third one is in... Brayhead Bar, Brayhead I think, oh, God, I can't know how to pronounce it, but it's somewhere. If you if you ever been to Glasgow, if you know Glasgow, you'll know exactly where the third one is. I've never been to it. I think there's three. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anywho, so today I'm filming this on the seventh of October. Yeah, I know. I've just been busy trying to upload videos all week. It's just been crazy. Um. As if you've seen my video, when was it? I want to say, was it September? When I went to Edinburgh, yeah, I got this bag, so I just reused this bag. It was a fiver. If you haven't seen that video, then go and watch the September Primark haul. This um, isn't a lot. I wasn't planning on buying anything, but every time I go in, I seem to get something, and it's like I don't need it. But I'm not the only one who's like that. Um, I've still only got 28 subscribers, so it would be nice if I could get some more. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will get into this video and show you what I have bought. So, first item is sorry, I'm having problems with my um tripod and try to set it up so it sits properly and whatnot and um, it kept falling so if the camera does kind of wobble whatnot it's because of that so here is two super soft pillow protectors and it was four pound in the home section of Primark now you're probably wondering why I've bought these and um, the hotel that I stayed at at the weekend there if you've seen it you will um know that it I didn't like it um, the thing is, is I have got my hair, I don't know if I said this or not, but my hair is half and half. It's half red, half purple. Now, because of the purple, it's ending up on my um, pillow. It's coming like, there's. it looks like blue dye on it. So, um, not long after I got my hair dyed um, in September, I think it was the end of August, start of September, um, I totally forgot about taking a towel with me to put on the pillowcase and the pillowcase at the hotel that I stayed in ended up um, blue. I'm so sorry um, to whoever had to um, wash that, the housekeeping. I'm so sorry. I, like, I totally forgot about a towel. Um, when I stayed in the Premier Inn um, at the end of last month, I actually used my t-shirt. Um, and then the hotel that I stayed there this weekend that's just passed um, I was I used my t-shirt for the first night on the Saturday night um, on the Sunday I went into Primark and I was going to buy a towel and put that and then it was like and I mean there was heaps of towels different colours and whatnot and I was alright I was going to buy one and then I seen these pillow protectors it was like why and then it just came to me why not buy this because it's like four pounds I mean I already do have pillow protectors on my pillows in my bed right now so then I bought that and put that on um, and there was actually none of it like went blue the pillow protector and um, this is the one that I did use it has been washed even though there was like no blue on it, it's still obviously got a wash because you know I like things clean and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so when I go to the hotel tomorrow night, um, I'm gonna take one of these and put it over the pillowcase, and then that way, um, my hair dye isn't going to like go all over the um pillow. So I don't know, like that. Could we call that a hack, a hotel hack? Or, you know, if you're staying at somebody else's house, get one of these. I mean, it's only four pound. Get yourself a pillow, pillow protector and then just put it, it, put the pillow into the pillow protector and then your hair dye will not go on the hotel's pillow, like the pillowcase. So, yeah, 
there you go and just a reminder it is four pound and it is in the home section a primark and you get two of them um right next item um doo -doo -doo -doo. i got these again if you see my videos you know that i get these toothbrush cover things um there's two of them a blue and a grayish one it is a pound um i buy these because either they end up I don't even know how, but they do end up like covered in toothpaste and whatnot. Obviously, you can clean them out, but I was getting it because the last one I had, um, I had the cold just like what two weeks ago. I had the cold, and I was keeping my toothbrush in there. But then obviously after I had the cold, I got rid of that toothpaste. Uh, toothpaste, really? It's gonna be one of those days again, right? Let me say that again, right? So I had the cold. And I got, once my cold was finished, I always, like if I've got a cold and I've, obviously you brush your teeth and whatnot, I always get rid of the toothbrush once my cold is over. And then if my toothbrush is in one of these, I get rid of that as well. And then I will have a new one and I use that. But then every, like every so often I'll uh, get rid of these as well and then um, just buy new ones. I really do love them. Um... I mean, it fits your normal toothbrush in it. I don't know. I don't think it would fit an electric toothbrush. Um, you can get the little cap things that you just put on the brush. Like the head of the toothbrush itself. They might work on an electric toothbrush. I do not know. I don't have one anymore, so I couldn't tell you. But yeah, so for two of them, and it's just a pound. You know, not bad there. Um, what else? Right. So on the Sunday, I went on a tour bus on in Glasgow, and the weather started off fine, and then it ended up going like really cold. I did have a hat on, and I put my hood up, and because of the wind, the wind just kept blowing my hood back down, and my neck was cold. Now I do have a scarf, but whenever I put on a scarf, it doesn't matter if it's a really thin one or a really big thick you know the big fat thick long ones I will always end up with really bad neck sweat like and then I've got to take off my scarf because my neck is just like absolutely wet with sweat Um, I didn't have gloves on me Um, my gloves um, were at home obviously because <laughs> you know whenever I go somewhere I never pack enough even though I pack loads I still don't pack and I don't take everything that I need just in case the weather changes because I am a dumb s-h-i-t that is me um so yeah I went into Primark I was looking at gloves there was women's gloves and I was like mm, I like them there was like the ones where you know it covers like all here you don't have the fingers but you've got like the thumb bit I can't remember what those gloves are called my mind has gone blank but anyway I liked them I think they were like a fiver and I was like, no, I'm going to go into the guys section because I do have, like, you probably can't tell, but I do actually have fat hands. I've got, like, manly hands, you know, um, and I've got, like, fat fingers. They're not that long, but they're fat. Um, so I thought, right, I'll get the men's section because if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I do buy stuff at men's sections because men's clothes seem to fit me better than women's clothes. So, you know... Um, so anywho right I got these gloves these gloves were £4 um, it says 3M Finsulate insulation I don't think I said that word correctly anywho because these are men's gloves right they are obviously big and when I put them on they were like they're actually too big for me believe it or not. I mean here you go look here's on a glove you can see I've got to actually push it right down to fit my fingers, you know, and my thumb. I've got to do that with both gloves and it comes up here on my arm. But yeah, they are cosy. I mean, my hand is starting to get really sweaty under there than now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've bought gloves like these loads of times in the past. For years and years, I've bought gloves like these. Um, so I'm going to... Try to make sure to always have a pair of gloves in a suitcase because obviously it's now um, 
autumn and winter will be here before you know it and I'd rather my hands were cold because my times my hands are freezing it's unreal. Um, I also did buy a like a mouth spray thing for your breath. Um, it was like 80p or something. Like that. It, um, I could actually go and reach it, but then I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's like not that far. Like, hold on. I'll go. Ah! Sorry about that, guys. See what happens when you try and go and get something, and then the camera ends up falling. But yeah, sorry about that. Right? Do you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna continue on with this video because it's already 10 odd minutes long and you don't need videos this long. Right, what else have I bought? Oh yeah, right, so first thing first, right, I went on a Socky Hall Street, right, on the Sunday, okay? So that was the third, no, yeah, sorry, yeah, the 3rd of October, Mariana's Trench Day. If you're not a trencher, then you're not gonna understand that. Anywho, I seen this purse here, black. Now, if you know me, I'm not really, I don't like dark colours, I prefer bright, I would rather this was neon, but hey, this is the only colour it was in. The purse that I do have, there's nothing wrong with it, it is a black one and it's, I think it's a Mickey and a Minnie, or just a Mickey. Anywho, so I've seen this purse, right, and it is £7, and it's got this bit here that you can obviously put your hand... Obviously, if you've got a fat hand like mine, it's a bit of a struggle. But what, what the reason why, like I said, my purse that I have right now, there's nothing wrong with it. But the reason why I bought this one, I liked it, right, because when you open it, look at all that space there, right? Look at all that. I really should actually put my bedroom light on it so you can see things properly. Um, right, so here you've got a bit here and this bit here. Um, it does kind of open up there. So what I was thinking, right, for myself, is when I go to gigs, like gigs, tours, whatever, right, I could maybe put my tour ticket in here. Because um, it is a bit like having, because what I usually do is I keep the tour ticket in the envelope, and then that way it's not getting wet, and then I usually have my tote, uh, like a tote bag. But then I really don't like my tour tickets to get all crumpled and creased because I like to keep my tour tickets. Um, yeah, I'm one of those people that keeps their tour tickets. So I thought if I pop it in here, it's going to be still nice and straight, not crumpled, whatnot. Um, you've got this section here. I'm just hoping that you guys can see this because the light is off in my bedroom and it is dark in here. It is dark outside. It is autumn. Um, it is only 10 past 12 in the afternoon and it's all, like it's dark outside. Anywho, so um, you've got these slots here for like cards. There's like three and three, so there's six of them. Um, you also have a bit here, like you could put notes in, like your five, tens, twenties, and then another bit notes there. And then here you have got, sorry, this isn't focusing, is it? Oh, just focus, will you? Right, so anywho, you've got this bit here that you zip. Sorry this is out of focus, you guys. It will focus at some point. Um, focus, come on. Anywho, right, you've got this zip bit here, and I would put coins in here. I am really hoping that you guys can see this. I am sorry. I mean, I don't know why I didn't switch on my bedroom light, because I always do. So, coins in there, your notes in there, cards in there, tour ticket in there sorted and like i said it was seven pound i just wish it was in a, other colors other than black but hey ho if that's on the color they do that's on the color they do i mean a lot of people do like the color black like their souls that is fine i'm just trying to close this Ugh. right so the next item that i am going sorry i'm just trying to put this tripod back onto my bed properly i really need a table I really do, but there's like no space in my bedroom whatsoever for a table. Um, but yeah, I really do like need my own table and chair. Ah, stop it. Sorry guys, I'm having problems here. But because I don't know how to edit, this isn't going to come out and my camera is going to fall again. I know it is. Um, this tripod is doing my nut in and it's going to fall. Stop, camera, stop. Right, I'll have it like that. And then like this. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to adjust. Right. I did not need this. Okay, this is a jumper. It is white. It's not going to stay white for long. Um, and it is Mickey Mouse's face. Now, if you seen this at the start, you'd see I've got this bag that's got this on it. 
This is the bag here. If you've seen my Edinburgh one, you'll know that I've got the bag. I got the bag and the t-shirt. And then I got a jumper, but the jumper is grey. It's not this white. Now, when I was in Edinburgh, I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked for this jumper. I couldn't find it. Now, when I was in Glasgow last weekend, the last weekend of September, I went to Socky Hall Street and Argyll Street and I could not find this jumper anywhere. This weekend is just past the first weekend of this month. Socky Hall Street, I didn't see this. Argyll Street, I seen this jumper. And it is £14 and it is in an XL which is size 18 to 20. Now, when I was looking at the sizes, I really... Like, I'm not the only person that doesn't like Primark sizes. Um, they had... So the size I got was 18.20. Um, I think this might be a bit big for me. The size below 18.20 is 14.16. It did look like it would have fitted, but I really am not the type of person to go into a changing room and try something on. Um, so it was like a bit annoying. Um, so I got the 18.20 just to see if it... I mean, I've not tried on the tags on and everything. Um, I'm sure this will fit me because I am still in between sizes. I keep putting on weight instead of losing it. Um, I just wish Primark would do a size 16 to 18 because then I could have clearly have got the size 16 to 18 but no, they did 14 to 16. I don't know why they do that. Like They really need to sort this, this out because it is ridiculous. I'm not the only person who complains about the sizes. Um, they really need to start being realistic with their sizes, you know. Um, they did used to do 2XL at one point, but I haven't seen 2XL since, I think, the shops reopened this year. I don't think I've seen a 2XL. I can't remember if I've seen it last year or not. But yeah, so it is just a plain white t-shirt. It is really long. I'm pretty sure it's known as like a jumper Tress, is that what it's called? Um, hold on, I'll just bring my camera up so you can see a bit better, see Mickey's face. Um, so there you go, and you've got sleeves that, I think they are long sleeves, I mean this does look gigantic. It looks like a, a tent. Um, so yeah, but if you've seen my videos before, you will know um, that I keep buying clothes as if I'm going to Disney anytime soon, which I'm not. Um, hopefully one day I will get to go to Disney and I've got all these clothes that I can wear. If not then obviously I'm just going to have to wear them. I mean you can't go wrong with a jumper can you? Like I said I've already got the t-shirt and the bag so I thought I'll get the jumper as well because I've seen it. Um, I think if I remember rightly I'm sure they've got the his shoes as well. Now I could be wrong about that with the trainers so please don't be like well you said that they've got them in the trainers and I couldn't find it in the shop. Um, so... You know, I could be wrong about that, but I'm sure i seen it on their website. Um, I could be wrong. Um, and I think that is everything that I got out of the two Primarks. Um, this video is almost 20 minutes long. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I really need to stop, like, speaking so much rubbish. This is unreal. Um, if you have watched this all the way right through, thank you so much. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, please. Um... I am going to Aberdeen tomorrow, but I'm going to try and avoid Primark, but no, me, I'll probably go in. Hopefully I don't buy anything because I don't need anything. Um, so I'm going to shut up now and get this video uploaded because I've still got loads of videos to upload. Um, so thank you for watching this and um, my next video should be the hotel that I'm staying in tomorrow. So I'll upload that Saturday or Sunday. And um, thanks again for watching this far. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.